Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get Giratina. Not only that, but it's origin form, plus, you know, the orb that makes it its origin form. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get into this video. Okay, so if you open up your mini map, you'll go ahead and see the spring path, which says the fourth lake of Sinnoh that was kept a secret. So in order to get there, you're gonna have to fly out all the way towards Veilstone City. Once at Veilstone City, you're going to start to head south. Continue going on down south over here, go through this building, come out on Route 214, head down this path, keep going. It's, it's a little bit tricky here because of the fencing. It's very annoying. I need this guy to move on my way. Okay, great. Continue to go down. Okay, going down, going down. And then you're gonna have this little exit on the right. Bunch of trees here. It's called the Spring Path. Follow the spring path. You're gonna go into this little dark area and your music's gonna to start to get a little bit different as you enter into this area. So, walk on in. Once you're there, don't worry. Uh, legendary Pokemon Giratina will not be over here. Just walk through this grass. Don't worry about anything over here. Climb up this wall. At first, I thought the legendary battle was gonna be here because I never really challenged Giratina in any other games. <laughs> Only platinum. So I didn't know where to find it in Diamond and Pearl. So it wasn't there. So I realized, oh, I got to keep following this pathway and go to that cave door exit. So I, so I go inside of there into the cave. Once in the cave, you're going to need to use Defog because it is pretty, pretty foggy in here. And you're going to go ahead and click on this little pattern. And it's going to say, pass three pillars to the sleeping before 30 is surpassed. Now, it's really simple. All you have to do in this area is just go through any doors. It does not matter. And you have to see three pillars before Garatina. I got lucky on that door and I already had a pillar. So I'm, I'm at one pillar over here. Just going to keep exploring this area, figuring out what the heck I have to do. Go into another door. Well, probably the one up north over here. Yep, there we go. Continue on. I see no second pillar, but I, for some reason, go left. I have no reason. I have no logic, by the way, guys. When I'm going through these doors, I'm literally not even thinking about the mechanics. I realized the mechanics after this that I had to go through three. So, you know, they, don't worry about it. There we go. There's number two. I got the second pillar. Great. So I, I still was like, where's Garatina? Next one, I got to look for a third one. A lot of rocks in my way. Keep going. And there, I had my third one. Just like that. Pretty quick. And there is Garatina. Right there. And I went ahead and I challenged Garatina. Make sure to save before doing this. I, I cut that out in the edit but to make it nice and smooth, but just make sure to save. And we're off. We're going to battle with the legendary Pokemon itself from the Distortion World. Oh, baby. Unfortunately, they didn't add the Distortion World in this game, which kind of sucks. But here is Garatina appearing nice and big. I throw out Luxray to start off this fight. Getting excited. It has Intimidate, so it's going to lower Garatina's attack in this, in this fight here. Garatina's attack drops just like I want it to. And I'm going to go into battle, and I need to probably get this thing paralyzed. So I'm going to use Thunder Wave here to and to lower it, but Garatina, for some reason, decided to use <laughs> Pain Split. I don't know why. So there I go. I got it under the Thunder Wave to paralyze it. I don't want to kill this thing by any means, so I, I need to be very careful here. Garatina now has a status effect, which is fantastic. And I'm going to probably use its weakness, Bite, which is a Dark-type move gonna do a lot of damage on Ghost. Not too much because my Luxray is fighting the legendary Giratina. So I realized that. And then Giratina is gonna use Shadow Force here. Probably end up doing some damage to my Luxray, which kind of sucks. Here it comes. It looks really weird on its legs. I'm not a big fan of Giratina on its legs at all. Go ahead and use another Bite. Lower its health. I don't think I can use False Swipe here. I've started to think about it and realize I can't use it because it is a normal type move, which kind of sucks in this fight. You know, I, you need something that can bring it low, but you don't want to kill it. I go I go again. I, I get kind of risky here. I go with another bite. Now it's now it's pretty close. Now it's pretty close. Here comes another Shadow Force. And then at this point, I switched out my Luxray, I believe, to my Scyther. So my Scyther is going to take the hits here. Scyther survived it. And I'm going to then not use False Swipe because I realized it's a Ghost type go for a wing attack <laughs> which is pretty risky here because i don't want to ko it and get it pretty down okay uses aura sphere does some damage on me it's pretty scary you know fighting a legendary pokemon in a cave very scary i go ahead and i go for wing attack again because i'm feeling a little brave today going to feel a little brave 
Okay, I don't KO it. It's paralyzed. It's paralysis? Paralysis. Has paralysis. Goes and hits me. I survive somehow. Get its HP really low. At this point, it's time to catch it with a dust ball. So eventually I throw a dust ball, but that didn't work. And I think I just went in with the timer ball because they cut to the timer ball part. And there you go. Just like that, we got Garantina. Fantastic. But y'all might be wondering how on earth to get the origin form. No worries. All you have to do to get the origin form is go to Romana's Park once you have your Garantina and you're going to purchase a distortion slate for three small shards or one large shard. Once you get the distortion slate, you're going to go up this pathway exactly like I showed and there will be a secret room over here called the distortion room. This room is beautiful. I love it. Unfortunately, it was kind of spoiled in the Ho-Oh fight and the other Pokemon fights. So uh, that's what made me upset about this area. It's like, come on, it should have been just unique to Garatina. Anyway, approach the pedestal, drop your slate, and it starts to get spicy after this point. Because I didn't know what to expect here. <laughs> I did not know what to expect at all. So to my shock, once, the, once it starts going into the Pokemon phase, we have Garatina. There it is in its origin form. But I'm like, wait a second. I already got this thing in my party. What on earth is this thing? And uh, when I get into the battle, start to realize it is actually a level 100 Shadow Garatina. I wasn't a, a uh, wasn't too pleased about this fight. I, I thought I had to catch it. Okay, so don't make fun of me if I do happen to throw a Pokeball or try to throw a Pokeball during this fight. So I use Intimidate. I lower its attack. You know, I'm thinking, oh, this shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I'll do the same strategy as the other one. But I, I try to throw in a Thunder Wave. It comes out with a Dragon Claw. And just like that, my Luxray just falls apart. Quite upset over here after that happened. So I have to use my next Pokemon. I'm gonna throw out maybe my Dialga, right? Dialga's gonna save the day. No worries. Another legendary Pokemon, throw out some pressure there. Hit my battle button. And I pick Roar of Time because, you know, dragon moves are super effective against dragon moves. Then Garatina doesn't ground move and <laughs> hurts me pretty bad. And it dodged my Roar of Time, which kind of made this a really sucky situation. So what do I do? I go for Roar of Time again, hoping it does something weird. Dragon Claw takes me out, and just like that, I am officially down two Pokemon during this fight. And then swap out to another Pokemon, the one I just caught, Giratina itself. And believe it or not, the best Pokemon for this boss battle is Giratina. Best one ever. For some reason, the enemy used a fighting move on me and completely dodged it. So that's that's pretty good. And my Garatina is going to be the only one that's going to do a lot of work here because I'm just going to use its special move, Shadow Force, nonstop. Got one solid hit off of that. And this is where you're not going to judge me here because I, I do try to use a Pokeball and I realize I can't throw a Pokeball. So that was very upsetting. So I realized, oh, I just have to beat this fight. Never mind. Garatina on the enemy uses Destiny Bond here not really going to take me down. I mean, it makes no sense to Destiny Bond me here. So I go ahead with another Shadow Force, and I'm going to literally just keep spamming this move until I take out this Garatina completely. This is such a cool animation. It just, oh, it looks so bad with the Garatina with six legs. I need to be floating to make this look a lot better. It uses Aura Sphere on me again, so the AI is not too, too smart in this fight. I go back down again with the Shadow Force. Uses Earth Power. I completely avoid the attack. Here I come, baby, out of the dimension in that wall. Hit it again, and I take it out. It is done. The fight is over. My Pokemon get a lot of XP. 9998 experience on my Garatina. And uh, the room gets a little weird after this. The room gets a little weird after this. You're going to get the, the, the statue of Garatina completely upside down in this fight. And I was, I didn't know how to get out this room. Not gonna lie, I was pushing the wrong button for a bit because it was backwards and, and upside down. But it was pretty cool that they decided to incorporate the whole upside down mechanic. And you know, if you pick up that Pokeball, you're gonna get the greasiest orb. And that's what you're gonna be attaching to your Garatina in order to change its form. So I actually smacked it on my Luxray, so I had to switch it back to Garatina. And you will see the form change on screen. And wow, there we go. Just like that, I am now in the origin form. I look a lot more cooler, but you know, we have to test this out in a fight. So let me go into this grass here. And we got ourselves a float soul. 
Perfect, perfect hunting target for my Garatina. And of course, I'm gonna now use the Shadow Force on it because it looks so bad in the fights where it had legs. So here we go. Full-blown Shadow Force disappearing. Look, I'm gonna look so much cooler flying out the dimension without legs. And here we go. Boom! Float so done. Okay, I have to show you guys what it looks like outside when it's walking around. It, it actually reminds me of a centipede. It does float around though, and Garantina doesn't look too big anymore. Hold on, wait, I have to show you what it looks like with its feet too. Okay, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's um not in its floating form. This one looks weird. Actually, I think I may prefer it as Centipede Gar Garatina. Centipede Garatina is definitely going to look a lot more better. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. My name is Philly Beats You. Good luck with getting your Garatina. And if you already have it, congrats. Thank you for watching the video anyway. My name is Philly Beats You. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.